Yeah. Uh-huh. So now we look from where it could have been to. Uh, it's crazy. Like, um, I was reminiscing with uh, my father not too long ago, and I was telling him, and we were talking about the game, and he was like, I was like, it was crazy. Like, last year, a whole year ago, I had to wake up at 3, 4 in the morning just to catch NBA games, and, and now I'm, like, playing in them. At first it was playing, and it was like, now I'm starting. So it's all kind of surreal at times, but I mean, it's an awesome feeling. When you get called up, how is your mindset different between playing in a G League game and coming up here and playing in an NBA game? I think in the G League game, it's... Uh, you know, it's kind of me to set the pace, you know, set the tempo, uh, be the leader of the team. You know, I'm older than a lot of those young guys that come in there. So, you know, set an example and show them that, you know, this league, the league down there isn't a slouch. Um, you know what I'm saying? You actually have to come and play every night or guys will beat your head in. And then up here, you know, it's kind of the same mindset, but, you know, to feed off others and, you know, have them feed off me. Um, they're going to do a majority of the, you know, setting the tone, and I'm going to do a majority, you know, on my part of, you know, filling in the gap and making sure uh, when I'm called upon to do my job. How's that difference in roles, like, find your game so far, help you this season? I think it, I think it lets you be really open-minded. And you got to be open-minded and versatile about it because uh, when you're there, you got to be something completely different than you are here, and you got to, uh, you got to embrace both of them if you want success. And I think that's the, you know, the main reason I'm here because I want success out of my career. So, if anything, it, it you know it opens my versatility even more.